My name is Christophe Barrow. I work for DPS, that stands for Digital Product Simulation. I am a mechanical engineer, so my background is technical, and I am now the business development manager for DPS in North America. DPS is a consulting and services company. We are specialized in providing tools and consulting to enable simulation-based design. One of the biggest challenges in the simulation industry right now today is to uh, improve the collaboration uh, between different engineers, different teams working in, through a collaborative project. To enable this, I think two main requirements, technical requirements, will be a smart integration of the simulation within the early stages of a product development and to really focus on the simulation accuracy and then streamline innovation. And also a second one will be, is in my opinion, uh, how can we enable a dialogue between different numerical models that are based on different modeling scales and addressing different physical domains. You can empower the existing tools that are existing on the market and really um, pave the way to behavior-based engineering collaboration. So following this approach, we use Daimola and Habacus to perform a co-simulation of a gantry robot to improve the positioning accuracy of those robots while minimizing the vibrations due to the hand factor. Uh, we have to find a good trade-off between uh, a good positioning of the arm as well as maintaining a, a high velocity and reducing those vibrations in the same time. So to do that you have to combine the bo both approaches which are the system approach and the finite elements approach. You improve the process by integrating the algorithm within the 3D model we actually improve the controller uh, model within Daimola and at the very end we reach the positioning of the arm that was the target position while minimizing the vibrations of the arm. So we attained a goal using Daimola and Abacus which wasn't the case using Abacus all by itself. Mm -hmm.